What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Almighty Max, and today we react to I'm 24, my wife 61, now we want a baby. Uh, roll to 10k. Let's hop straight into the video, man. This is 24-year-old Karan, and he fell in love with 61-year-old Cheryl. For those who don't know, I seen these niggas before. Like I know about this couple, but through TikTok, I know they had a, a documentary like on how they met and shit like that. I'm kind of interested because it's like there's a really weird dynamic, bro. Like they have a OnlyFans and everything, bro. Like bro, I've seen the Twitter videos, my nigga. This nigga be roll dog and that shit, bro. Like, going crazy and that shit. The pair bonded due to their mutual love of TikTok and garnered much attention due to their 37-year age gap. Grammy, stop hitting on your great-grandson. But undeterred by the internet trolls, Cheryl and Karan recently tied the knot. <laughs> what she say? Yes. We got married. The water was running beside us. It was very beautiful. Now they want to grow their family and have children. I'm still a mom. It never stops. So why shouldn't I have another child? And they are finally. Bro. Like, do you think they're actually, do you think they're serious about wanting a baby or do you think they're just trolling? Because one, I don't think she's able to have babies. She's 61 and she's like the grandma from uh, Spongebob. Like, you've seen that, the grandma that like the dried up sponge. That's what she looks like. Feel me? So that's one. And two, it's like. Even if she were to get pregnant, bro, the baby would have so many, like, problems, bro. Ready to reveal the news to Cheryl's daughter. We had a baby. Do you think it would be a problem? Previously, we met Karan and Cheryl, who caused quite a stir with their unconventional pairing. I can't keep her hands off me. <laughs> she get me aroused. I'm telling you, it happens so often. <laughs> Lord, yo. Stop. Oh. Since then, the couple have taken their relationship up a notch when Karan proposed to Cheryl. I proposed July 30th. They made it very special, my TikTok fans, because they donated over $3,000 on Cheryl's ring in one day. So I was nervous due to the fact that I'm gonna propose to her. I looked at her and immediately started crying. I was like, I wanna spend the rest of my life with you. So I dropped down, I was like, will you marry me? And then she was like, yes. And it was Pose at an Olive Garden, bro. I mean, it's in Rome. That should look like a fucking Olive Garden. Like, you can't pick somewhere else to propose, my nigga. Like, somewhere cooler. But, yeah, I think he's being that ass. You think he's doing it for life insurance? Me personally, though, at first, I was like, nah, he gotta be doing it for like some type of bag. But to be honest, bro, like, the nigga is genuinely in love, bro. Like, I, f I don't follow him on TikTok, but they pop up on For You page a lot. Like a fucking lot. And these niggas look like they're actually in love, bro. And the way he was roll dogging that shit on Twitter, bro. If y'all if y'all ain't see the Twitter video, don't. Don't go looking for it after this video, bro. I have warned you. That shit is traumatizing. But he be going in Diane Cap. It was amazing. What she say? I was ecstatic. It was one of the best days of my life. Originally, me and Cheryl planned to keep the wedding private because we were getting a lot of hate at the time of us making TikToks about our weddings. First, a lot of people were saying we're faking it, it's not real, they're That's not what really I gonna get married. I thought it was we fake. Decided we're gonna stay off social media until the wedding. And we wasn't gonna give it. Then the day of the wedding, Cheryl was like, hey, let's go live, let's give them the wedding. We eventually decided to live stream it because we felt like our fans and supporters deserved to see it. Yay! And when we did, we had over 20,000 viewers. Oh shit, <laughs> wait a second. He just secured his P5 though, nigga. Oh, that boy not slick. He secured his P5, he got the little desk, got the little gaming setup. He's smart, smart guy. I see what you're doing, buddy. <laughs> He's over there crying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I felt like a princess. I never thought I would get married again. But he came along and hey, how did they meet? That's what I want to know. Our how did they meet? Fell in love with each other. Despite their strong bond, they've had to deal with relentless trolling. We're still getting it. Yo, he almost killed her. The way he just Batista bombed her on that bed. To deal with relentless trolling. That right there was a almost career-ending injury right there, my nigga. Her TikTok career was almost over just off that Batista bomb right there, bro. He is tweaking, my nigga. We're still getting it. They're trying to say that we're really not married. They're still saying that it's fake. It's not it's fake. Miserable. It shows I'm married. I'm happy. I'm content with my life. 
Some of the backlash I received, they say I'm dating my grandmother. They say she can never bear children from you. Cheryl's not dying no time soon. She's not dead. Not for long though. Not for long though. That's one thing though, bro. That, that like that confuses me, bro. Why do niggas on the internet care? Like I was saying, I'm like I'm trolling and shit. Like I don't go fuck what this nigga does with his life. Feel me? If he wants to marry a raisin, go ahead, bro. That's, that's your life, my nigga. Feel me? I'm not doing that. I'm not finna judge the nigga, bro. You feel me? Like, what, he, what he does in his private life has nothing to do with me. Why does some niggas on the internet feel so like entitled to control other people's lives? Like, like give him hate comments talking about she's gonna die soon, or there's other women out there. Like, nigga, yo, you go find the other women, then, nigga. Like, let him be with his with his with his raisin, my nigga. Let him be with his grandma, bro. That's a messed up comment. It really is. People need to get a life. And stop trying to take mine away from me. Granny, stop hitting on your great grandson. What's weird to you is normal to us. She was there when Eve stole the apple from the tree. I wasn't there. She, she was probably Eve. Now these newlyweds want to start a family together, but this has come with complications due to Cheryl's age. We're going to go to see some baby clothes in a nursery. We are looking for a surrogate mother okay. for adoption. Okay, that makes more sense then. Because if she was, if she, let's say hypothetically she got pregnant. Let's say she was able to get pregnant. The birth process itself would kill her. It would annihilate her. Just going through birth at 61 years old. That would probably kill her. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'm interested in somebody that is carrying a child that cannot care for this child that just wants to reach out to us. I would love it just like I love the rest of my kids. I'm really not worried about me having a problem being a mother again. I actually would have more time with this child than I did my other ones. I really don't care for a boy or a girl, but you know, I'm excited because you know, I've never had to experience this. I've never done any of this, and this is amazing doing it with my wife. I don't know what their families think. Like, can we get into a depth combo how they met? Like, this video not doing its job, bro. I need to know how they met, how they family, what their families think about this. Like, I, like this video, I thought, was, I thought that's what I was gonna get with this video. Like, I thought I was gonna get a deep dive into this relationship, but they're just showing me these niggas doing TikTok, Batista bombs, and fucking baby clothes. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Today, my daughter Ashley is coming over with my grandkids to visit. My grandkids love Karan. They already call him Papa. Y'all want to play the turtles? Yeah. yeah. They said, yeah. This thing's a 24-year-old grandpa. I think he'll walk the house by himself. Aw, will. Do you? Yeah. Oh, God. I have seven children, and they were upset when me and Karan got together. Okay. Ashley just wants me to be happy, so she's going to stand by me no matter what. Kiss it. Yeah. Like, Ashley should be going out with, uh, with Papa. Feel me? They like, she look, actually, she looks older than him. She looks like she's at least in her 30s, like late 30s. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have a problem with it because age doesn't really matter. Thank you. I appreciate it. We and the actions you. speak louder than words. Like, you're always there for us. If we had a baby, do you think it would be a problem? Look at that. No, it wouldn't be a problem. So you're raised. No, nah, I feel like she'd be enforced there one, I guess. She look like, look at the way the no wouldn't be a problem. Do you think it would be a problem? Look at that. No, it wouldn't be a problem. So she looks so uncomfortable. She's like, yeah, that shit would be a big problem. Yeah, now they got a gun to, to behind. Like, that nigga, you see how his arm is behind the old lady? He got a gun pointed right there behind her back. He's like, yo, answer these questions right and say you don't give a fuck or lose your life. Type shit. So you're ready to welcome in another sibling? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to have another brother or sister. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, I got to go and get the kids home. I love y'all. Okay. All right, we love you too. We love you too. Stop Cheryl has made me to be a better human altogether, like a better man, a better human. She makes me want to do better, like 
all together in life. I don't regret meeting Cheryl. She really improved everything about me, every aspect. The heart falls in love with who the heart falls in love with. It sees no age, it sees no color, it sees nothing but love. And that's exactly what we have for each other. Hey man, Martin Luther King taught her right. She was probably front row for the uh, I Have a Dream speech. And she took that to heart, bro. She said, yeah, when I get younger, I, I mean, when I get older, I will marry a, a black boy, you feel me? So, hey, she did it. Love does not judge, that is true. I, oh, shit, what the fuck did I just do? I own seven houses worth five million. Oh, she look good. Is that a girl? You never know nowadays, but yeah. If you're not living in a drop a like, subscribe, roll to 10K, you feel me? Um... Yeah, I feel like love doesn't judge either. Feel me? Uh, love who you want. Feel me? If you like, if you're a boy, you like boys. If you're a girl, you like girls. You like cats. Yo, whatever you into, my nigga. Is, do what makes you happy. As long as there's nothing fucked up. As long as you're not loving little kids, cause that's bad. Feel me? That's the only thing that's bad about loving. You could love anything, but don't love children. Feel me? Uh, yeah. So I don't judge you. Feel me? Uh, live your life. Don't be. You know what I mean? Don't don't hate. Don't don't let people hate comments and shit. Let them live their lives and shit, man. It's your boy Mighty Max. Roll to 10K. Feel me? Uh, stream coming tomorrow. I will be streaming. I'll try to stream every Sunday. Feel me? Every Sunday and Monday, I'm going to try to stream. Don't hold my word for it, but I'm going to try. Feel me? So be there. Probably at nighttime and shit. It's your boy Mighty Max. And uh, I'm out.